Hello, happy Monday, and happy full moon in Cancer. This is a really lovely day. I have been looking forward to this day because full moons are always a time of letting go, and the full moon in Cancer is about letting go, learning to forgive, accepting, and today we embark on a accountability forgiveness journey. And so if you have not joined us yet and you are willing and wanting to do so, you can do so. You can click the link right down below. Either way, no matter what, this is a really good time for forgiveness, to embrace forgiveness, to embrace acceptance. So either way, I would encourage you to click the link and sign up whether you intend on joining us or not, just to get the steps to forgiveness and to get the um, process that I have used to really come into acceptance, forgiveness, and most importantly, creating space in the nervous system and in the field so that new can come in. So this is a time of letting go so that when the lunar new year is here, so when we start a uh, next lunar cycle, which is coming up, stay tuned for that. If you want to join me for Moon Cycle Restart, um, then we have space. We have space to bring in, call in what it is that we really, really want, and we get to embody who we were born to be in an easier way. So please do join if you are at all called. Now, if you remember, that is my gift to you, but if not, no worries. It is a very, very minimal, minimal fee to join us for the next two weeks. So forgiveness in 14. Check it out. The link is down below. We start today. But either way, this is a time to forgive, to step into forgiveness. So sort of hold that intention in your heart and let's see what comes of this. Let's see what comes of this today as you are honing in on the process of forgiveness. So choose one, two, or three. If you're choosing position one, I'm going from the middle of the deck and the card we get is the Justice card. So this is the eighth card. It is a major arcana, which means that there are wonderfully big spiritual lessons if you are choosing this position. For one, I want to say if you're choosing this position and you have any sort of legal cases going on, anything happening in court, that this is a pretty good sign. It's a pretty good omen that what is happening around you and for you is good. But I also want to say here to stand up for yourself. And when it comes to forgiveness, this is all about self-forgiveness. That is the most important person that we can learn to forgive. And we're going to be working with that a lot. So if you're choosing this position, please do consider joining us if you are not already um, signed up. Even if you do one day, it doesn't matter. Um, even if you can't be there live, it doesn't matter. Just diving in, diving into the accountability is really, really going to be a good thing. Now, the other thing about this card is I'm going to the scales and I'm looking at balance. So I would say if you're choosing this position, you know, make sure that you're creating the space for change, the space for acceptance. This is a time of really wanting to feel our sense of purpose and belonging in this world. And if we don't, it could just be that we have something or someone or ourselves to forgive. So do what you know is right and stand up for you. Now, if you're choosing position number two, you get a popper. So you get the 10 of water. This is awesome. So the 10 of water, which means that Everything is met. All of your needs are met. But it also tells us in the journey of forgiveness that you may have some family members specifically to forgive or situations with family members or perhaps um, if you're in the mentorship and embody one and you're choosing this, there could be some lineage work of a genetics work to do. Um, but everything is, is met. Everything is good. And then the popper card you get, the jumper card, it's a message for you and me today, is the awakening with Archangel Gabriel. This is telling us to look at things from a very different perspective. Really what's um, coming to me here is when it comes to the material world and scarcity and making sure that you have everything that you need. Do people owe you money? Did somebody take from you? Um, you know, am I worried about having something show up that I am owed or that, um, you know, I need for protection or safety, you're going to be just fine. So don't worry if there is a pause. What is really important right now is you see it from a different lens, see it from a different perspective and be true to who you are. And that is how you will move into embodiment and, um, feel really a real sense of belonging here. And then finally, position number three, you get the high priestess. We have a lot of major arcanas. This is a really important time 
telling you it's a good time for the forgiveness journey if you want to join. But the high priestess, so this is really about going inward and, um, you know, if you're choosing this position and you're not able to join live for the forgiveness journey, this would be a really good time to just at least get the notes if you haven't checked that out, to at least get the notes on that. But really be patient with yourself. The high priestess is a high priestess in the sense that she is in her temple. She doesn't leave. She doesn't go after. She stays where she is and she allows people and energy to come to her and she is really, really patient. She is um, okay with a being and she is okay with planning. She is okay with surrendering, waving the white flag. She is okay. Look at her stance. Look at her positioning. She has her wisdom. She has her wisdom in that open book on her left hand. She has the wisdom coming in and on her right hand, she gives it forward, but she is okay just being, just being present with an open heart. Um, the other thing that I'm going to say if you're choosing this position is to really lean in to the cycle of the moon, go back to the new moon, um, the new moon in Cancer that was six months ago. Check that out. What were you doing? What was going on for you at that time? Look at pictures, diaries, phone logs, text messages, whatever you have to understand what you were intending at that time because now is the time to release what doesn't work around that so that you can move forward in a bigger way. So whether you're joining me um, on the forgiveness journey or not, I am sending you so much heart space to accept to be where you are. And if you feel like I'm good, I don't need to do that, I am all good with where I'm at, I am ready to manifest, um, then perhaps I'll see you for the Moon Cycle Restart class that is also coming up on the Lunar New Year to help us set big new loving intentions. I'm sending you love. Enjoy this beautiful full moon and we'll see you next week, if not sooner. Bye.